All right, guys, out for another dig over at the homestead. I'm actually looking around a little bit more. Just found our first hole, not much there. I'll spin it around and give you a... So first hole, case of glass. Nice little bottle top, hitting on a nail. It's all right, we'll take bottles. This is kind of a cool one. I wish it was complete. Neat shape. We'll keep looking. Just right on the surface while I was filling that hole in. Another bottle top. Cool. Try to figure out something to do with all of these. That looks like it might be some kind of old pulley system, like a swivel of some kind. Certainly not going to swivel anymore, but cool. We'll put that in the bag. All right. That looks like we got more chunks of the wood stove to me. Sweet. Maybe an outer edge of the stand. Don't see any markings on it. Definitely a cool piece though. Cool. We'll keep looking. Got us another piece of that plate. Cool. Bust out the sifter, see if we can find some more. All right, looks like we got us a Jergens lotion bottle. Part of the cap is still on there. Cool. Have to keep looking. It was just right down there. Sweet. Looks like we got us another old battery rod. Cool. Keep looking. All right. Looks like we got us a little cogwheel for a clock or a watch did find those watch pieces in here so that's kind of cool in addition found a piece of our bowl uh, Sherry says this is definitely a bowl she says her grandma had one that was the same color so finding some extra pieces someday we might be able to put that thing back together who knows just pulled up another pretty little piece of ceramic I think that's got flowers on it, it looks like. Yep, definitely got flowers on it. That's China. Nice. See the edge right there. Pretty. But keep looking. Don't really know what this might be. It's not native to our soil here, so... Definitely brought in. Looks like it's got some pattern to it. We'll throw it in the bag, we'll take it with. See if we can figure it out later. Kinda cool. Don't rightly know on that one. Hmm. Almost looks like a chain stop for something. I thought it might have been a lock, but not so sure. We'll keep looking. Definitely a latch to a door. Maybe that other piece was the receiver for it. I don't know. We'll keep looking. Thicker piece of steel. Got some pattern to it. Could be part of our stove. Could, could be anything. We'll keep hold of it. Keep looking. Looking like a clothespin to me. Sweet. Keep looking. All right, that piece of glass is not looking like a bottle to me. Glass plate, maybe? Glass bowl? Who knows? We'll keep a hold of it, we'll keep digging. Piece of a head stamp. Not much left of that one, though. Just the primer and a little bit of the edge. All right. Now that, my friends, is a beautiful thing. Absolutely gorgeous. I think this is the internals for that clock that I found the back for a couple weeks ago. Nice. We found another gear for it today, too, so... Who knows? Maybe we'll find the rest of it. That is absolutely gorgeous, though. Gotta save time. All right. Being very gentle with these. 
It looks like the remains of a leather shoe, little eyelets, maybe a doll shoe, maybe a child's shoe. I don't know. Definitely, definitely really small and really delicate. The leather that's on this is just about falling apart. It's been in the ground so long. So we'll put that in a separate baggie, save it aside so that we can protect it as much as possible. All right, looks like a lip to a can of some kind. And another piece of that bowl. Slowly but surely, we're getting that bowl put together. This area's got a lot of junk in it. There's an, inter an interesting piece. Looks like DU or DA something. Can't really read it yet. I'm missing a bunch of it. We'll keep looking though. Cool. All right. Another little piece of pottery. Definitely take that. Cool. Finding some stuff today, definitely. I like that. Western Super Western Expert number 12. Cool. Keep looking. Alright. Peter's H 312. Made in the USA. Cool. Take Beaver tail. Big washer. Cool. Winchester repeater number 12. Another head stamp. Garbage. Alright, so this is by far the find of the day. Looking at it, it is a clock. I went back into some of my other finds. I've got this watch, this clock base, manufactured by the Ingram Company in Bristol, Connecticut. If you look at it, on it line up perfectly. So this would have been a clock manufactured by the A. Ingram or, or Elias Ingraham Company of Bristol, Connecticut. Mr. Ingraham passed away the year that they began using the e. Graham Company name and stamping it, which was 1885. I don't know the date on this for sure, but it is an early, <clears throat> one of their earlier lever watches or clocks. You can see inside, this is a lever mechanism. It would work on this spring. It's actually broken all the way down but this would have wound up and given it tension. This would have moved up and down, causing the movements, which happened on this side. Now, this could have either been an alarm clock or a mantle clock. I'm not sure yet. I don't think I have enough pieces to determine an actual age on it. But I'm guessing that it's between 1885 and no later than 1946. Um, the Ingram Company stopped producing. At the beginning, at the onset of World War II, they were producing clocks and watches. They were asked to stop that by stop their watch production and began producing um, timer fuses re-gearing up for war time production in the 40s so 
This would have been pre-World War II on its production. And after the war, they did go back to making clocks. But most of the clocks that they made post-war that were mantle clocks would have been would have actually been powered. They would have had a plug in them to plug in. And this one is definitely a wind-up. Hopefully, as we're getting out there and we're searching more in the area, we can find more of this clock. It's definitely a unique historic piece. And this is what I do this for. This is the kind of thing that makes it all worthwhile. All right, so not too bad of a day out. A bunch of pottery. Part of a brick, I think. But a lot of glass. That's kind of the nature of sifting stuff. We did get three head stamps, a button, a 9mm bullet, a spring that went to something. We got some decent top end glass. That I wish was complete. So that one too, that one's kind of a cool little one. Uh, a bunch of pull tabs, old cap to something, bottle cap battery rod, some tin, that clothespin clip we did find back there, that's the parts to the cast iron stove, I think that's part of the legs and that would be the vent piece, um, complete glass, we got a 1930s Jergens lotion, it did have a cap when I found it. Unfortunately, even with it being separate, that cap was so brittle it broke. Tons and tons of glass, like I said. A little bit of pottery. Big washer to something. Barbed wire, chicken wire, fencing wire, whatever. Did find a bundle of copper wire out there. Best find of the day was this watch base did find one of those wheels today we had another one already in in storage and then we also had turns out this is the face plate for that clock no numbers visible obviously anymore and the back plate and these all match up so those are definitely all from one clock tried to get a get down to the antique clock store today unfortunately gentleman that runs it's on vacation so I'll have to get down there another time see if he can give us an idea but I'm thinking it's an E. Ingram E. Ingraham company um, either the Ace or the Victory model one of the two they're small travel um, alarm clocks so that's kind of cool so that was the day See you guys all on the next one.